Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are, right where we left off at the end of the last episode. Right here, looking in on this very, very scary large dark room. A few things changed. I blocked it off a little more and decided to make myself a nice little safety area here. So, let me go ahead and clear this out real quick. Not entirely sure why I did this. I pretty much logged out or exited the game as soon as I was done recording my last session. But it just, it felt safer for some reason to leave myself like that. Uh, and the only other thing you guys missed is a zombie did walk up, and uh, that's why you see the feathers sitting right there. So, let me get my bow out. And, uh, run like the wind! Oh, see if I can't light this up nice and fast. I know I heard a second zombie in here earlier. So hopefully he doesn't decide to surprise me. <laughs> Getting a little bit of lag. Okay. Try the strafing thing again. And... Oh. Oh. Well, I am getting somewhat better at that at least. Okay, I only missed three times. Maybe four if that was an arrow I just picked up. Ah, so, what do you guys think? Is this not the most insane cave you have ever seen? I mean, how many episodes has it been that we've spent in here now? I mean, I'd have to go back and count, but I swear it's got to be somewhere at least... I don't know, 30, 40 episodes, maybe? That's just... That's crazy! Uh, I just heard something walking around on dirt for a second. Hopefully no one's trying to sneak up on me while I'm making torches. Uh, let's see... I think I do want to try getting back into my always-up routine, so... Just go ahead and do so. Hmm. Sounds like there's a storm going on outside. Well, what do you know? There is. Are we seriously this close to the surface already? That would actually be very convenient as uh, something I was thinking about while I was editing everything earlier, or a few days ago, was that, you know, it'd be nice, considering how massive this place is, it would be interesting to see if I could find my way back up to the surface and see where this all comes out and maybe make a quicker path back from Resurrection Station, considering I think part of the reason I lost all my stuff both times was that, uh, again, during editing, I found out just how long it took to actually walk from spawn all the way back to the cave, and each time it was about four and a half minutes, and with the five-minute limit on items despawning, that might have played a very large factor in where everything, or when everything, disappeared. So I think, let me, uh, I gotta stop saying, let me just light up this one last section and then I'll go back, but, cause, <laughs> this cave, it just, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, just, just one more section. Oh, no, wait, 12 branches. You have to finish those two now. <laughs> and I know I've been walking past a lot of resources in these last few episodes, and I think what I'm gonna do is, I do decide to actually pick it up on the way, I'll probably be cutting that out, but if not, I think what I'll do is I'll come back off screen when I don't have to worry about fraps causing unintentional lag, and uh, just mine the crap out of this place. Because we are definitely going to need to reclaim some iron after all of our losses recently. And there was also something that, depending on the comments I get um, on the last episode, and yes, I was using past and future tense there, I am actually recording this set the same day I'm releasing episode 87, so that should kind of give you guys a little bit idea of 
how far in advance I'm doing some of these things. Wow, I didn't even know that this was up here. But anyway, as I was saying, depending on the comments I might get on uh, episode 88, I believe, which was the last one from the set I recorded before... <laughs> Uh, there was an area that we did walk right past that was nice and dark, and I saw it on my way in, but for whatever reason, completely missed it on the way out. And just now off screen, I went and checked it out, and it actually opens way, way up, so I'm going to want to have to go, going to want to go back and check that out sometime. Possibly in this set. My goodness, man. Ah, <sighs> okay. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, let's go back around, see if I can find my way out of here, and try and pick up that iron that just dropped. I think it was this way. Eh, it's close enough. <laughs> and I'm going the wrong way, I know. <laughs> I just, I see darkness and I have a compulsion to light it up. Even if it means giving up a little bit of iron. <laughs> Alright, I think he's more or less stuck where he's at, so this should be not too bad. Nice. Yep. Poor Skelly. Got screwed by the game, but that's fine. I've been screwed enough times in, these, in this chapter to more than make up for that. <laughs> Okay. Wow, and it went this way too. Jeez. Seriously think I'm going to get really nice and lost for the first time in a while. But again, at least there's not there. At least there's lots and lots of nice pockets of iron around. All right, now let's see if we can't go back and figure out just where the heck we were a second ago. Whoa, whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Yep, there's the iron. Ah, I hate the way they do that. Hmm. Like that, yeah. I was getting ready to say, I hate the way that it, you have to peek your head out so you can see, except the instant you do, they've already seen you. So it's, it's a little unfair. Alright, let's see. That's the zombie. Whoa. How many skeletons are down there? Is he just jumping around like an idiot? Uh, okay then. <laughs> Maybe we will, on second thought. See if we can't figure... Eh. Oh, it got dark out and it stopped raining. That's why it looked weird. <laughs> it's like, I thought I was just in here. Huh. Well, I'm going to chance it. I might end up regretting this again. Last time I tarred pillared up somewhere, it didn't things did not end up going so well. Can at least light things up on the way up. Um that one's gonna be in my way. <laughs> wow, I'm almost out of torches again. Okay. Where am I? 
Wow. How the heck did I get all the way out here? And where is here, by the way? Um, is this near the sand pits, I think? Holy crap! The cave is ginormous! Gigantic and huge! <laughs> Holy crap! Wow, okay, so there's definitely not a faster way back. And there's a creeper over there. Considering I have to walk past the house to get here anyway. Man. Uh, there's another creeper. And a skeleton. I should probably not be doing this at night. Because there's the creeper. And I'm going to leave the gunpowder because I'm going to need the time to actually get back in here. And... Get back down before something else decides to follow me. Okay. Phew. Uh, all right. More torches. And I'm going to need more coal here soon, too. Lovely. Don't worry. I will spare you guys the boring digging parts. Okay, I think that should do us pretty good for a while. Now, let's just see if we can't finally get back out here. Pretty sure that iron's despawned already, but hopefully the skeleton has as well. Sounds like he has. That's good news. Ah, he must have come out of there. Might be where the zombie came from as well. Jump in and see if we can't make this place a little safer now. Moving along, finding the cave opens in 12 directions above my head again. Uh, it's just, it's so disconcerting when it does that. It's like, oh god, I know something's about to kill me. Ha. Huh torch? Why is there a torch here? When was... When was I here? Huh. Ah. I do remember coming across this before. Yeah. Vaguely remember coming across this before. Let me go ahead and grab some iron while I'm here. Okay. Um, might want to go ahead and add... Actually, let's subtract the spawnable area right away from all that. As opposed to adding a torch. Another big, deep, dark hole. Hmm, almost like a staircase ready to ready made. And I kinda messed it up. <laughs> ah, that's that is always nice to find. <laughs> a bunch of nothing. <laughs> okay. Just had to use my first bowl of soup. The uh the ground that went out from under me as I was digging some coal. Uh, but we're doing good on that again. Looks like I'm almost up to a full stack of iron, which is great. That should come in very handy. Should be good for at least another two sets of armor. My god, man. Stop going on. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but... I really am enjoying being in this cave, as massive as it is. It just, it feels like it's kind of getting a little out of control with as many branches as I'm running across. Alright. Now, I came from this way, yep. Yeah. And we'll just go ahead and 
<laughs> throw another torch down. Alright, this is the tunnel that I thought the skeleton may have come from. I almost wonder if the area I'm at now connect will will end up connecting to the crazy massive looking area that I ran across in that little tunnel that I was just talking about probably 15 minutes ago. The one that actually connected from a piece of the cave that we were in in episode 88. No, 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 you don't get to sneak up on me. And we turn around real quick to make sure he's not actually serving as some sort of bait or distraction. <laughs> I don't think Notch has made them that smart yet, but hey, better safe than sorry, I think, right? 